Look at the life of Job. If when it appears, things are against me. I'll keep loving you. I'll keep loving you. I'll keep loving A woman was in the temple for 18 years. Afflicted. 18 years. Luke 13. 18 years afflicted. But sir, she remained in the temple. 18 years! Yes, she did not change her mind on God. 18 years! Yet she remained there. Even if he slay me, yet will I trust him. I will maintain my ways before God. Job 13, 15. I remain with him. Sir, 18 years. Yet she stayed in the temple. 18 years. Listen to me. Listen to me, child of God. Job had the marital challenge. That was the first affliction. The second affliction of the righteous that we see in the life of Job was attack from friends. His colleagues were yeah, terrible people. Miserable people. The current attack on the body of Christ is attack from colleagues. Ministry has become like a political party. Where everybody has a clique. Ministry has become a political party. Where people throw shade. It's as though pastors have no more message. Other pastors are now their message. It's as though pastors have no message anymore. Other pastors are their message. Now, do you know why you should be careful? Why you should be careful is, is that Listen to this. God is too big to be understood by one man. Now listen to this. I did not totally believe miracle money. You may have heard me say that before. I didn't totally believe. It was weird. I've seen the move of God. But do you know what I did? I never spoke against it. That you don't understand something does not give you latitude to speak against it. Because the ways of God are past finding out. When the archbishop started judgmental unction, people called him a murderer that was killing people. They attacked him. God is a God of love. They attacked him. He opens his mouth. Archbishop, the people archbishop sent to hell. Archbishop Bidawusa. Oh, the people is sent to hell. In fact, there was a particular one in the Ogboni fraternity, fraternity that the man died. The children came. You killed our father. He said, you want to join him? All of them said, sorry, and they turned back. <laughs> miracles, miracle center. Yeah, miracle center. A, 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 a man said, over my dead body, will you build this place? He said, amen. The man died that night. He came with a judgmental unction. He will tell you clearly, you try me, I kill you. I'll kill you. I remember a story. A woman was casting the news. And the archbishop had been taken to court. It was a serious case. And the woman was reading the news and said, this was the news. The music comes on and the woman comes out to give the news. That the archbishop of the Church of God Mission is likely going to spend Christmas in prison. The news stopped. Because there was power outage. The news stopped. Five minutes later, the power came on. Somebody else finished the news without making reference to that. We didn't know what happened. It was later we found out that the archbishop was on the dining eating when he heard his name and he stretched his hand to the TV and spoke in tongues. Power went out in the channel. The person reading the news asked stroke. Stroke. So someone, they packed that person out of the newsstand. Somebody else came to finish the news without making reference. But they called him a judgmental man. I didn't understand that. Because one scripture that has always been my bedrock with God. All things. When you speak against a dimension, it means you are doubting the supernatural. Let me open up to you. Many people do not hate supernatural dimension. 
they only hate the men projecting them. Deep down, they believe God can do it, but they don't like this man that is talking about it. The men are their problem. There are many of them that desire the prophetic, but why should soon a man? Why should it be these people that are prophesying? But they want it. 